What's going on, guys? We are officially here. It's your boy Jamal Avery, as I'm, as I'm sure, hopefully you guys already know. Uh, it feels good to be here, guys. I, I've been saying I wanted to do this video for such a long time now, but since this whole coronavirus stuff, I'm like, I have literally nothing but time and energy and space to do the video. So um, last week, um, I made a post on my Instagram about my journey in LA and how it has been for me. The good, bad, the indifferent, and so many, so many people have so many questions. So I was like, why not make a video for those who are thinking about making a jump, who have some crazy faith, who just really just want to just to kind of like bet on themselves, essentially. And so what I did is I jotted down a list of questions here on my notebook, and I just wanted to make this real, real brief. I didn't want it to have anything to allege or like, you know what I'm saying, no big production. I want to just kind of be real chill. I think that's, that's I think people really can respect that more, uh, that more natural feel, you know what I mean? So. Uh, as you guys know, I moved to LA last May, May 22nd. It's almost been a year, and it's been a lot of ups and downs. A lot of um, a lot of ups and downs. Great things has happened, of course, but it's been a lot. It's, it was a struggle. Um, it was crazy because I wanted to. I, I came to visit my friend Gentel Cherie uh, back last March, and I was like, "Yo, like I want to move here." Like, and it's crazy. Like when I got back home from Maryland, I was like, "Yo, like." I gotta make this move. It's something that I wanted to do. I'm like, I don't know why I need to be in LA, but I just, I, I need to just tap into it. Um, at the time, I was working at a company called Oracle at the time, which is a great company. And I just, I just didn't feel, I just didn't feel like I was walking on my purpose. I didn't feel like I was really doing things I needed to do to, to advance myself and my career and what the things I know God had for me. Um, so I made the jump and it's been one of the most craziest roller coaster but most amazing, rewarding rise ever. And I'm just so thankful to even have the the, uh, the courage and the tenacity to just jump like literally on a limb and um, just land like how I landed. No matter how, you know what I'm saying, things get, how, no matter how, how bad it gets, no matter how uh, crazy stuff it gets, I'm just happy I got a chance to do it. So I have the questions here. One of the questions is, uh, how has the journey been? The journey has been great. Uh, the journey has been a lot of ups and downs, of course, like I got to say it, but the journey for me is one of those things where it's an ongoing journey with yourself. It's an ongoing journey with anything that you do that you're passionate with. Uh, when I first moved out here, um, it was crazy because I never really had no savings at all. Like I didn't have no savings at all. It was crazy because um, before I had left, I had went back home to Greensboro, North Carolina, and I was like, "Mom, like family guys, like I want to make the move to LA. I feel like God is really calling me here. I don't know why." And I never really save at all. I didn't really have a job at all lined up at all. I was just really just like. Yo, I gotta just do this. I gotta do this now. And I'm like, yo, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm a little ashy too. But, um, yeah, my family. But, uh, um, what I end up doing is, like, what I end up doing, I, I took out a loan to move, um, from literally one financial. I took out a loan, I, I put a loan on my car, and that gave me $5,000. Um, and with that, that's just the thing people don't really get a chance to see. Like, and with that money, I literally ship my car out here, I pack all of my stuff. I ship my car here. I pack my I pack my whole car literally down to the rim, and I also ship like my bed and everything out here to LA. So you know what I'm saying. And at the time, I had a home a homie. You know what I'm saying. We still cool. You know what I'm saying. Some some, some stuff went down, but it is what it is. Um, I had a homie at the time who was already living out here, so we had already kind of already planned to be roommates. So before I was before I got to LA, we he would, what he would do is they would just Facetime me like different properties, like different like apartments and all of that stuff like kind of so i can kind of see like you know what i'm saying where i'm about to be living at essentially so i'm like yo like this is a perfect deal i'm like god like you're really on my side like what do i do what did i do to deserve all of this war that i feel like i'm uh getting right now and so fast forward you know we end up signing we end up signing the lease i wasn't here of course i did my i did my virtually and so um what happened was we got here and it was a lot of it was a lot of mess going on like with like the the landlord, the, my homie, who was I was real cool with, not turning the money. It was just, it was just a lot of like un unweary, unweird, like weird stuff that was going on. And I was kind of just like, oh, like you know what I'm saying, like. But me being a positive person I am, I'm like, you know what? This this place didn't turn out for a reason. At the time, I was staying with my good friend and tell I love her to death. I'm on her couch literally, and at the time, I had my um, my car was literally packed to the rim. When I say packed to the rim, it was packed to the rim. It was literally, but I was still like driving around because I flew into LA on a Wednesday and my car got there on that Thursday. And I was supposed to move into my apartment with my homie and my other dude, this other dude that we know on that Thursday. So I'm like, you know, I'm about to get to LA. I'm about to move into my apartment on Thursday. Everything was like stellar. Like it just was the perfect like setup. It was just amazing. Um, 
they didn't turn they didn't turn they, they didn't turn out how I wanted to turn out. But you know me, I'm always I'm a, so much I'm so optimistic. Like people want to say Jamal, you're so positive. I'm like, you know what? You really have to like change, like change literally think in your mind that like everything happened for a reason. And like what I do, the decisions that I make, that's gonna like that's gonna like control how I react and how, how I do certain things too. Um at the time it was it was just a tough time and then we ended up looking for a new spot. We ended up didn't getting approved. Um, because one of my other, you know, one of the homies, um, didn't, you know what I'm saying, make the correct money, which was cool. You know what I'm saying? Things happen. But at the time I, I was like, you know what, God, like, I'm just, I'm tired. Like, I literally feel like, you know what I'm saying? What is going on? I'm already literally second to jump. I just want to be situated. I'm tired of being in my car. And yes, I was staying with my homegirl. But, you know, also one thing people don't really notice is like, I didn't realize that I had pride issues until I moved to L.A. Um, in terms of telling people like when I'm going through certain things and I think it was it was something I needed to go through and yeah I had people out here in LA who I could probably like hit up um, And I can stay with but I was staying in my car literally I was staying in my car for what I want to say like Oh like three days because I was like yo I gotta find I gotta find, I'm just ready to get situated I'm ready to get settled I'm just ready to be put in LA I'm ready to live this life you know what I'm saying like I'm like yo it's crazy um, and we fast forward I'm like you know what guy like I just need to find somebody to like to move in with ASAP and so what I did is I went to Facebook and I was like, look guys, like I'm looking for a roommate. I'm trying to move in ASAP. I met a guy, his name is um, my roommate's right now. Turned out very good. Literally was such a, like a crazy process. We ended up staying downtown, um, which was great. That was nothing but the grace of God. I was able to get approved and everything. It's such a quick, a quick turnaround. I'm like, you know what? Literally, I didn't even know dude. I didn't even know him at all. We just like, you know what? We feel the energy on my like, let's just go in. I'm just ready to get situated. Um, so we ended up moving in things was great um and during that time it was crazy because like i was so new to la like i'm just like you know back at home so i do the you leave dorm lock like you do you do certain things like back at home that you probably wouldn't normally do like in la so i would never forget like in the time i was like what, before i had moved into my crib i would like always i would go to planet fitness like to work out during the day because i really had nothing to do i literally was just like sitting there uh during the day so I, like, i'm gonna work out and so it was crazy one day i left my door locked and um it was crazy. A homeless person was like going through my door. I didn't see it at all, but he ended up taking like my uh, my laptop and all of that crazy, like all of that. And um, by the grace of God, someone had found it. Like saw him run, like run, rambling in my car. Y'all, that's done with me. I'm just I'm just so oblivious to a lot of stuff, y'all. Like everybody know I'm just very oblivious to a lot of stuff. Like a lot of things is like I know it's common sense, but it's just like I don't know. I just, I just don't be thinking people are actually gonna do stuff. I, I guess I just be so messed up in the head sometimes to like actually think people are not crazy. Uh, but long story short, they end up uh, get my get my stuff. They turn my laptop into this um, to this to this uh, store, literally right right beside Warhead Park. They wrote a letter on my car. I was like, yo, like we, we saw somebody going to your car. We put your laptop here. I thought like it was just so many like things like going like left right, and I'm like, yo, like why am I dealing with all of this? You know what I'm saying? Like why am I like going through all of this? And it's like I feel like I'm supposed to be here. I feel like this guy is telling me I need to be here, but it's like I can't win for nothing. Um, so to say all that to say, like the journey has been good. It's been a lot of ups and downs. Um, but I feel like those moments, like coming into LA was like allowing me to just realize like, I gotta go through these moments. Like I gotta, I gotta push through these moments. Like I know that God has me here for a reason. I know that no matter what comes my way, it's nothing that come, there's nothing that anyone can do to stop me from like reaching my goal, my fullest potential. Because I know God has something and he just has something planned for me. And it's hard to explain to people because, like, it's, it's something that I just feel in my, I feel deep down in, deep down in my, in my gut, y'all. And that's crazy. Like, it's one of those things where I can't break. I won't break, man. I, my mom, my family has been through so much to the point where I feel like, I'm not necessarily depending on me, but it's just like, I just know that the gifts and the talents that God has given me, it's like, man, I just want to be able to just, like, give it to the world. Like, you know, the good energy, the positivity. And, um... That's the order to say is the journey's been crazy and uh it's it's crazy. I wanted to really just show people that first that first mark because a lot of times it's like we really only see like what I what people want to post. You know what I'm saying? I am I'm, I'm over that. I'm over that point of my life. You know what I mean? I'm just like, you know what, let me talk about the journey. Let me talk about my first journey when I first moved to LA. So that was my first that was lengthy, but that was my first question. But it was it was um it was needed. So what did you do for work? How did you, did you find a job? So I know a lot of times people want to make money trying to figure out what they're going to do for work. I'm be honest, y'all, like, <laughs> and do not try to stay home. So like, literally, I was working at Orp at the time in rest of Virginia, but I was living in Maryland. And at the time, I was like, you know what? Like, I got to bet on myself. 
And so I literally just moved. I didn't tell my manager. I didn't tell anyone except for my close friends. Like they really vouched for me. Like it's a certain people I can like count on my head. Like Q, J, Deles. Like so many of my close close friends. Like really was just like, and they really vouched for me. Honestly, like because I really wasn't coming to work. I really just like got up and left. And um, people didn't really understand what was going on. I'm like, you know what? Like I gotta just stay focused. I gotta stay grounded. And um, by the grace of God, I was able to still get paid. Like. I moved, I moved to like, I moved to in LA March 22nd and, um, no, I'm sorry, not I mean May 22nd and I was still getting paid all the way to June by the grace of God, I mean July by the grace of God. I don't know how guys, I just, by the, by the grace of God, I was working remotely, but I don't know like how they just didn't know. Honestly, I really don't know. But by the grace of God, God is good. I'm so thankful I was able to do that because I honestly needed the bread. And at the time it was crazy, I took like a, a month off of social media nobody really knew i moved to la except for like jeff my um my close close friends like people who knew me i, I talked about the move like my girl to move to la nobody didn't understand because for one i didn't want to have too many people in my ear because i'm very sensitive to like feedback and opinions and friendships and all of that so i'm very sensitive to like all that so for me i don't have it all figured out so why would i want i don't need you to tell me what I already know, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't really know yet. You know what I'm saying? All I, all I can go off is with my heart and I can go off what the conversation me and God has had, has had, and I gotta just trust my gut, I gotta trust my instincts, and I gotta just put myself out there to win, to put myself out there to just uh, to just bet on myself, essentially. So I kept it real low key, um, but as far as work, I end up, like as time went on, I end up working at the gym, and um, that was a good opportunity. I uh, love the gym. I, it, it honestly allowed me to get the best shape of my life, honestly. I can't even lie. I think that was one of those things where God knew what he was doing. And uh, one of the girls, my homegirl, Ava, at the time, she got me the job. And I was just so I was just so excited because I was like, you know what? Like, I'm glad I got a job. Here I was. It's like, I, I, I knew what I could get. I could get an easier nine to five corporate job. Like, I could get, I could get, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I knew I could get it. I could get, I can get like a regular job, but I didn't want that. I didn't want that at all. The people didn't understand that, but I just didn't want it. I, just, I felt like I wanted to really serve other people in a different capacity. Because when you can see, when you can see, when you can, when you, when you begin to literally use your light and begin to know that you are, that you can, you know what I'm saying, easily get a job or easily go after certain things and you're not actually living to that. I wanted to be a different, I wanted to go a different way. So I was working at a gym, also serving at this place called Tom's Urban Downtown LA. At this point, I'm like, I don't know, like, what's going on? Like, at this point, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm working here. Like, I'm literally, I'm trying to turn this uh, TV on. Give me one second, yo. Okay, we good. All right, so I'm working here um, at this server. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was, like, a, such a humbling process, guys. Like, um, it's one it's one thing, like, it's just, it, it was a humbling process. But in that season of my life, I, I, I did that from, like, July all the way up to November. I did that and um I wanted to be I wanted to serve first. I think, you know what I'm saying, whatever season whatever God was gonna do for me in this season, God guys, I'm still figuring it out. I wanted I wanted to, people to understand like you have to really put you never can put yourself too high up there because you just never know. So I feel like God was just allowing me to experience all of these things that I never experienced because when he do elevate me to that point where I'm getting ready to go, that you know, and he's gonna lift me up higher. I'm gonna already know what it means to be at the bottom or to be, you know, or, you know, not necessarily at the bottom, but to like do certain things that like I never really had to do. Fast forward, I got fired from that job. Uh, <laughs> it just wasn't for me. Like I just got fired from a server job, literally. Like it's crazy. I walked I walked there with two of my friends and got there. They was like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go, you know what I'm saying? But it was, it was God saying it was time to go. It was getting too toxic. Y'all know I'm, I'm really big on energy. So like the energy was just so like horrible. But it, it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot. And at the time, I'm like, yo, like, I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. I don't know what in the world I'm going to do. But by the grace of God, you know, I was able to, you know, work um, work at a gym and, you know what I'm saying, right, as, as a server job and st still able to pay rent by the grace of God. And rent, I say downtown, rent is like, my rent is like, it's like up there. So I'm like, yo, like, which I'm talking about another, you know what I'm saying, like, listen, but um, I would just say, um, you will find a job in LA. You will find a job in LA. It might not be what you want to do right now. It might not do what, you know what I'm saying? Like kind of co coincide with like what you, you know, what you used to. But for me, the gym and the server job work because I wanted to be free. So when I have auditions, like I wanted to be free because you know, as actors, like you want, you have to be very easable, accessible when they call you in for auditions and like working a corporate job. Sometimes it's a little bit, it's harder 
to just kind of like call out or get off early. So I just didn't want, I didn't want, I'm like, if I move to LA, I don't want nothing else to hold me back. You know what I'm saying? So, but I didn't have a job at all lined up at all, literally at all. I, I